Here's the thing. I do try to keep my work paper free. I prefer to be mobile and not to carry around a bunch of papers. But sometimes there are those documents that you just prefer to read on paper. And since I need a printer pretty early, I didn't want to buy a fancy and expensive one. In fact, I bought the cheapest laser printer I could find. Unfortunately, it's pretty dumb. No Wi-Fi, no queue, nothing fancy. But even if I would buy a fancy and expensive printer, their Wi-Fi are usually pretty awful. But with a little bit of Raspberry Pi magic, we can turn a dump and cheap printer into a smart and wireless one. So let's get started. For this project, we're going to be using a Raspberry Pi Zero and a 3D printed case for it. We'll also use an OTG cable to connect the Raspberry Pi to the printer. Next, we assemble the case of the Raspberry Pi. We connect the OTG cable and connect the printer on the other side of the OTG cable. We also connect the power supply and let's move on to the software. I know that I showed in previous videos how to flash Raspberry Pi, but Raspberry Pi have recently released a new version of the imager that has a few tricks up its sleeves. So let's launch the Raspberry Pi imager. Choose Raspberry Pi OS Lite and the SD card. And before you press right, press Command Shift X and you will see this advanced uh, options panel. Here, set the hostname to printer. Enable SSH and give the Pi user a password. The Raspberry Pi imager actually can pre-configure your Wi-Fi uh, password and network from your laptop. So enable that and right. Once the Raspberry Pi is up, and you can check if it's up by pinging printer.local. When it responds, you just SSH into the Pi. On Linux and macOS, you can use the built-in terminal. On Windows, you can install a third-party application called Putty. So we SSH into Pi at printer.local. and use the password you entered while flashing the image. Then you type sudo dot minus i and can now install different applications on the Pi. So we want to install cups. Cups is a print server developed by Apple. It's open source and it's part of macOS, but it also runs on Linux and can work with a lot of different printers. Okay, now we want to give the Pi user access to the printer and that we do by saying add user Pi LP admin. We want to enable remote printing on, on that Raspberry Pi, so run CAPCTL, remote, any. If your printer is uh, an HP printer, add the HP Leap library. And if you want the printer to be accessible from Windows, install Samba as well. You don't have to install Samba if you plan to use the printer only with Mac or Linux machines. Okay, now that everything is installed, we can go set up our printer, connect it to the desktop, and that's it basically. So we go back to the browser and we open printer.local631. We go to administration, add printer, if you get a message of an upgrade required, just add HTTPS at the beginning and then advanced proceed. So again, add printer, set up the printer that's connected, continue, give it a name. If you want to use the printer in Windows, preferably don't use underscore or hyphens in the printer name. For Mac, it doesn't matter. 
make sure to mark show this painter, continue, choose the model, add painter, and the painter has been set up. To make sure it's set up properly, let's paint a test page. To set it up in Mac, we go to System Preferences, Printers and Scanners, Add. And the printer has actually been already found on the network. Add it. And let's print a test page here as well. That's it. Now, with a $10 attachment, my $50 laser printer is wireless and is smarter than printers a lot more expensive than that. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so you won't miss my future videos where I will share more cool technology and home automation gear and tutorials. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click like and if you didn't, please leave a comment so I will know what you didn't like and will be able to improve for the future. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it and see you in the next one.